Did you know if you're a victim of graffiti, you have to clean it up? One Lincoln homeowner knows this all too well. Channel 8 Ivanis News reporter Taylor Trujillo talked to him today and joins us now with more. Taylor? Rod, David Williams was shocked to see that another random act of vandalism happened in his neighborhood this week. Had I came out a little sooner, it might have came right off. Like I say, I forgot about it because when I'm out here doing yard work or cleaning gutters, I'm typically not on this side of the garage. William says he was heading out for groceries when he noticed the graffiti on the backside of his garage. And took upon a closer look, that's when, like, wow, once again. You know. Upon notice, Lincoln police brought the gang unit to investigate and take pictures. We'll just try some soap. I'm going to go back to the sink here for a minute. I know I had a brush somewhere around here. He says the graffiti here is not the first time it's happened. And the way I found out at that time, my neighbor's fence had been painted on as well. And the other neighbor across the alley, their garage, had also been graffitied. So what if this happens to you? You need to know if you don't clean the graffiti within 15 days of notice, the city has the ability to charge you or the owner of the property for them having to clean it up. There are situations where you can get up to a 25 day extension. Hopefully this is the last time that will happen. William says in his case, it appears to be random acts of vandalism. He is an eyesore. I do agree with that. Uh, it's unfortunate for the homeowner, the responsibility of it, and then the fact that you could possibly be penalized for it. That would, that's frustrating. You know, if it's a gang initiation or just some random act of violence as a, I mean, vandalism as a challenge as a, that's just unfortunate. For many property owners like Williams, we're all just going to have to deal with the cleanup as the city calls it. Mm, very frustrating. Thank you very much.